hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this creative looping animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple tips and tricks and if you want to learn more about logo animation and other stuff then don't forget to check out my logo animation course on udemy link is available in the description and if you like this video then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. We are going to name it as Main Animation, like this. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, and duration is also 30 second long. And background color. Right now I'm going to choose red color and simply hit OK. And let's uh, minimize this effect in presets. Now I'm going to select my ellipse tool and over here I'm going to choose white color for the fill and I don't need any stroke so I'll delete the stroke and uh, by holding shift I'm going to create one ellipse. Now select this ellipse, press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center, go to the align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Now select the shape layer and hit ctrl D, select the second layer, hit enter and let's call it as stroke. Okay. Press S for scaling option and scale it like this and we will delete this fill. We don't need that. And over here stroke width, I'm going to choose black color for the stroke color and increase the stroke width a little bit. Press S for scaling option again and increase the scale a little bit like this. Let's decrease the stroke width somewhere around like this. Okay. Now after that, uh, select this layer and uh, go to the add menu over here and we are going to choose trim path go to the trim path create what one keyframe at start and one keyframe at end and also create one keyframe uh, at rotation so i'll press r for rotation and i'm going to create another keyframe and hit u now in property i'm going to choose 50 over here and let's rotate it like this let's up to minus 90 degree like this select both of these layers and let's try to move them over here now select these two layers, hit Ctrl D and let's bring them at the top and let's move them over here like this with the help of Darun arrow keys and uh, side arrow keys you can adjust it like this. Okay, now select the stroke 2 layer and bring this at the bottom, hit U, select the stroke and hit U, select the second layer and we are going to make it plus 90 degree like this. Now we are going to animate these layers. So let's first uh, focus on this one. Let's uh, lock these two layers. Let's select this and initially let's make this uh, end value 0. Zoom in a little bit. Go to around 1 second and let's make this 50 like this. Also now at this point I'm going to select this layer. Let's create one keyframe at start over here. Go to this over here and let's make this value 50. So if I see this animation, I'll get something like this. But this thing should start from here. So I'm going to select those keyframes and I'll move them over here like this. So now if I see this, I'll get something like this. Then when this animation is starting, we need to end this animation. So what I'm going to do over here, I'm going to create one keyframe at start. And at this point, I'm going to make it 50. So if you see this now, we will get this kind of animation. Now at this point, I'm going to select this stroke 2 and I'll create one keyframe at rotation. I'll go to around 3 seconds and I'm going to rotate it up to let's say minus 90 degree. So it will rotate it like this. So if I see this animation from the start, I'll get something like this. Now at this point, this layer over here, I'm going to create one keyframe at end. Go to around 4 seconds over here and let's make this uh, end value 100 like this so if you see this now first we will get this and then we will get this 
so as this animation is starting over here this animation should end so let's see at, okay so if we change this end value then this is changing so i'll create one keyframe at end then i'll go to around four seconds and i'll make this zero so if i see this now first i'll get this then this and then this then at this point i'm going to select this layer i'll create one keyframe at rotation i'll go to around five seconds and i'll copy this first one i'll hit ctrl c ctrl v or uh, let's say we will make it plus 90 or maybe like this and if i hit n over here and if you see this animation we are getting something like this okay but over here we did one mistake uh, as you guys can see uh, we are get starting this animation like this but we don't need that so what i'm going to do let's create one keyframe at rotation and one keyframe at rotation over here and this start keyframes we don't need that so i'll simply delete that and select all of these keyframes and let's bring them at the start okay so if you see this now this is starting from here and if i end it over here and hit n i'll get this animation continuously in the form of loop okay so this is one way to do that and if you think this animation quite slow so you can hold alt and you can move this up to three seconds i'm going to move this up to three seconds for now like this and i'll hit n over here so if i see this now i'll get this animation a little bit faster okay now let's unlock these layers with you select all of them and press ctrl shift c to pre-compose this and let's call it as animation let's double click to open this select this uppermost two layers hit ctrl d go to the top uh, and change the color of this one to black press s and decrease the scale like this okay so we are gonna get something like this okay so we will get something like that and then if you want you can select uh, this layers no i think this looks good we don't need to change anything extra then uh, hit u go to the last keyframe over here and make sure to hit n over here then right click go to the trim comp to work area so we'll get something like this go to the animation comp and let's increase the duration of this one zoom in a little bit and we are going to press ctrl alt t okay so hit ctrl z press ctrl alt t over here for time enable remapping or instead of that what you can do you can go simply at the end right click go to the time and time enable remapping as i said shortcut key is ctrl alt t so simply click on it and create one keyframe before this last one and select this last one and then hit delete okay then alt click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression on it like this so we will get this animation continuously now i'm going to select this go to choose grid and guide option and hit on titles section press s and increase the size and let's try to adjust it over here then press r for rotation create one keyframe and go to around six seconds and i'm going to call it as two rotation and hit end so if i see this animation now i'll get something like this but this is not how we want because uh, let's hit uh, control z and we need to select this uh, anchor point so press y and let's bring this anchor point properly at the center zoom in a little bit let's bring this anchor point at the center and let's make this fit create one keyframe at rotation go to around six seconds and hit n and we will call it as two complete rotation so if you see this now we will get this kind of animation then press ctrl y to create one solid background and we will bring this at the backward so if i see this now i'll get this kind of stuff let's go to the animation comp we will select these two white layers press s for scaling option and scale it like this so if i see this stuff now i'll get something like this so let's decrease the size a little bit yeah this looks good okay like this and then uh, you can select this layer uh, this layer you can go to the effect and presets panel and you can search for drop shadow effect to apply and increase the softness and decrease the brightness and change the distance to somewhere around like this okay so we will get this kind of stuff and change the color of this one to somewhere around like this
okay so this is how you can create this kind of looping animation